welcome back guys so this is probability and random variable and this is question 71 of the book by alberto leon garcia second edition so here we are asked to find the probability that the block contains three or more errors and the statement here we have is a block of 100 bits is transmitted or a binary communication of channel okay so the channel we have here is this binary communication channel with the probability of error is 10 to the power minus 3. So here we have to find the probability that the block contains three or more errors. So um, more specifically we can write here the solution such that we have here 100 bits okay and these are transmitted over a binary communication channel and the scenario the channel has been model is like this one this is the transmission end and this is basically the reception end okay so here we have this transmission end and here two bits can be sent out here one is here zero and the other one here is one okay so if the bit is transmitted here from here to here so here we can get zero or can also get one here okay either the bits transmitted from this transmitted and to this reception will either be zero or one or if zero is transmitted it can either be one or zero as well okay so here this is the transmission and and this is the reception and or the receiving end so here the probability with which we will get the error error means if zero is sent we will receive one or one is sent we will receive zero so the probability of error is what let me write it here with this blue color that is let me call it p and that is 10 power minus 3 okay and what is the probability that we will receive it correctly that would be 1 minus p okay so it will also be like this one 1 minus p and here it will be this p so this is the overall scenario now 100 bits are sent here and we want to find out that what is the probability that the block of 100 bits will contain three or more errors i mean if i am going to write here with this white color so i want to find out the probability of the errors greater or equal to what three okay so i want to find out the probability of errors greater or equal to three so it can also be written like one minus probability of the errors less than three so it will also be like this one it can also be model like this one like uh, the summation of these two will be equivalent to one let me write them here the probability of errors greater or equal to three plus the probability of error less than three it will also be equal to one okay this is the overall scenario this is the overall scenario and it will be equal to what it will be equal to one okay so now we want to find out the probability here and we can see that here errors are basically this is a binary communication and we will either receive zero or one okay zero is for failure and one is for the success or here success is the error and failure is no error so here we have 100 trials and out of these 100 trials we want to see that what is the chance that we will get three or greater than three successes so this is clearly the binomial probability problem okay and let me call this equation as equation a so here in equation a we have two parts one is this and the other one is this probability of errors less than three okay so what is this probability of error less than three let me write it here so the equation for the probability of errors 
less than 3 will be equal to the probability that the errors is equal to 0. Similarly, the probability that errors is 1 okay, and plus probability that the errors is equal to 2. So, these are the three scenarios where we have error is less than what less than 3. Okay. Uh, here we have a scenario in which we can see that out of the n items and number of items we have 0 success, 1 success and 2 success. Okay. And the number of successes we can find out by using the binomial probability law as mentioned here. So, what is basically the binomial probability law? Let me write it here. So, according to the binomial probability law, in order to find the probability of the successes equal to the k, okay, what we can do? We can use here n choose k, okay. What is n? n is basically the total number of the trials, and out of these trials, we want k number of successes okay and here the probability of the success is p with the power of k and 1 minus p is the probability of this failure so here we will get n minus k okay so this is let me call it the equation 1 so this is the equation we will be using in our question here okay so uh, this equation putting this equation for all the types in b here so this is let me call equation b here and let me write all the forms for it as well here we will see that the probability of errors less than 3 for probability error of errors is 0 or the success is 0 what we can get we can get n0 okay p0 and similarly here 1 minus p n minus 0 similarly here for this probability of errors equal to 1 this will be n choose 1 okay probability 1 and 1 minus p probability of n minus 1 and similarly for the two successes n choose 2 probability square and 1 minus p n minus 2 ok. So, uh, simply it can also be like probability of the errors less than 3 ok starting it from 0 to 1 to 2 what we can do we have to add them so here it will be i will be from 0 to 2 ok and here it will be n choose i the probability of i and 1 minus p probability of n minus i ok so let me call it equation c ok and now putting c in a ok so putting c in a what we can get here probability of error greater or equal to 3 is 1 minus probability of error less than 3 so it will be equal to the so this is what this basically this basically is the binomial probability law. Now, uh, putting values here and for first expanding it what I will get here let me expand it first. So, I will get here 1 minus writing them here as well it will be 1 minus n factorial divided by n minus 0 factorial and 0 factorial. So, it will be n factorial divided by 0 factorial n minus 0 factorial because whenever we will have here a b and this a b is equal to the a factorial divided by b factorial or a minus b whole factorial. Using this thing here what we can do here as well this is the expansion of this and multiplying it with this p 0 1 minus p and minus 0. Similarly here 
n factorial divided by 1 factorial and n minus 1 factorial and this is p1 1 minus p n minus 1 and here this will be n factorial divided by 2 factorial multiplied by n minus 2 whole factorial and it will be p square 1 minus p n minus 2. Okay. So, now here it will be this thing and here what we have to do according to this question what we are going to write here let me write here n equal to 100 because this is the total number of bits here and p is equal to 10 as power minus 3 okay so writing these values here what i will get i will get so this is basically the solution which we were working to find out and this is the expression for the bit error which we were aiming for so uh, that's it for today in which we have discussed the number of the errors out of some block of bits so this is clearly the binomial probability theorem and here we have discussed many assumptions and also shown you this very popular formula that if you want to find out the probability of some larger quantity you can find out the lower quantity and then subtract it out of one to get the larger subset of it okay so this equation a is one of the important aspect of this question and i will see you with some more interesting questions like this one 